Hello friends, welcome to church. It's exciting to explore new stories and lessons every week that reminds us of God's love and of his amazing plans for us. If it's your first time here, welcome on board. I'm so glad to have you as part of our growing family. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good. I'm great. I'm wonderful. I'm good. I'm great. I'm wonderful. If it's your birthday this week, it's time for you to stand and shout. Let's sing you a birthday song. Have a happy birthday and a very joyful new year. God bless you. Let us pray, heads bow, eyes closed and hands together. Thank you Jesus for an amazing new day. Thank you for everyone celebrating their birthdays this week. We pray that they have a very beautiful new year. Please teach us something new today. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen.
to go get your Bible and let's read our verse of the month together. Our verse for the month is a whole chapter. It is taken from Psalms 23. Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yet though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. The Lord's my shepherd, I shall not want He maketh me to lie down in green pastures He leadeth me beside still waters He restoreth my soul He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness For His name's sake The shadow of death I'll fear no evil For thou art with me Thy rod and thy staff They comfort me, oh yes Thou preparest me a table In the presence of my enemy Anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. All the days of my life, all the days of my life, and I will dwell. Of the Lord, my God, forever and ever. Thank you, my Lord, Thank you, my Lord. for being my shepherd. Psalms 23 shows us God's presence 
protection, guardians, mercy, and love. It reminds us that God is everything we need and is always with us. When we follow him, he will give us rest, which is peace, and renewed strength, which is energy to keep getting better. Maybe you've never made the choice to let God lead you and guide you. Or perhaps you have, but it's been a while and you've spent a lot of your time trying to do things your way. It is never too late to come back to the Good Shepherd. Never. about the story of Elijah and the widow, we saw how God provided our needs miraculously, demonstrating his ability in amazing ways, even at difficult times. In week two, we learned that God can help us feel safe and protected. If we put our trust in him, we need not to feel afraid. Jesus leads and guides us just like a shepherd leads and guides his sheep. In week three, we learned through the story of David as a shepherd boy that God reminds us how special we are by providing our needs and giving us all that we need and more. Finally, in week four, we learned that everyone is important in the kingdom of God, even the littlest child. Jesus seeks out the lost sinner and rejoices over every sinner who decides to follow him. God's love is not based on who we are or what we do. His love is entirely based on who he is. God is love. Now, let's have a quick warm-up break and play the opposites game. I'm going to tell you to do something, but you and I will have to do the opposite of what I say. For example, if I say, raise your right hand, you will raise the left one instead. Are you ready to play this game? Now let's go. Let's do this together. Stand. Raise your left hand. Touch your right ear. Wave your hands low. Show a frown. Wow, you did an awesome job doing the opposite actions. Imagine you're about to ride a bike for the first time without training wheels. You may be a little worried, but your mom or dad is right there, holding the bike and promising not to let you fall. You trust them, right? This is because you know they love you and will always keep you safe. Trusting God is kind of like that. It means believing that God loves you, wants the best for you, and will always be there to help you, even when things get tough or scary. Just like you trust your parents to hold the bike, you can trust that the Good Shepherd will always take care of you and keep you safe. In our story today, we will unwrap how a man called Daniel chose to trust God and do the right things, even when others tried to make him do the opposite. Daniel trusted God even when things were tough. Let's dive into Daniel's adventure and see how trusting God made all the difference. I hope you're still with your Bible because we'll be reading together. If you're not with your Bible, go get your Bible now and let's read together. So now let's open together to our Bible reading taken from Daniel chapter 6 verse 13 to 16. And I will be reading from International Children's Bible. And then it says, then those men spoke to the king. They said, Daniel is one of the captives from Judah, and he is not paying attention to the law you wrote. Daniel still prays to his God three times every day. The king became very upset when he heard this. He decided he had to save Daniel. He worked until sunset trying to think of a way to save him. Then 
those men went as a group to the king. They said, Remember, our king, the law of the Medes and Persians, it says that no law or command given by the king can be changed. So King Darius gave the order. They brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, May the God you serve all the time save you. The next morning, King Darius got up at dawn. He hurried to the lion's den. As he came near the den, he was worried. He called out to Daniel. He said, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God that you always worship been able to save you from the lions? Daniel answered, My king live forever. My God sent his angel to close the lion's mouth. They have not hurt me because my God knows I am innocent. I never did anything wrong to you, my king. In the land of Babylon, Daniel was one of the advisors of King Darius. The king got to see how honest and good Daniel was. He really liked him. But there were some other governors and advisors working with the king who did not like Daniel. Daniel was doing the work much better than they were and the king was planning to put him in charge of the whole kingdom. Those other governors and advisors were very jealous of Daniel's good works and wanted to get rid of him. But they couldn't find anything wrong with him. So they decided to use Daniel's love for God against him. The jealous men went to King Darius and said, O oh, king, make a new law that for the next 30 days, no one is allowed to pray to any god or man except you. If they do, they will be thrown into the lion's den. This was indeed the perfect law to get Daniel in trouble because Daniel had a habit of praying to God. The king, not knowing their plan, thought it was a good idea and made the new law. When Daniel heard about the new law, he knew he couldn't stop praying to God. He trusted God and continued to pray three times a day, just as he always had, even though he knew it was dangerous. The jealous men saw Daniel praying and went straight to the king. Daniel is still praying to his God, they reported. The king was very worried because he liked Daniel, but he couldn't change the law he had made. With a heavy heart, King Darius ordered Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. They rolled a big stone over the entrance and the king went back to his palace. All night, King Darius stayed up worrying. The next morning, he hurried over to the lion's den to see if Daniel had made it through the night. Did your God save you from the lions, Daniel? He called out. What do you think happened that night? Yes, God saved Daniel. Daniel answered back, I am here. God sent an angel to close the lion's mouth. They couldn't hurt me. The king was overjoyed and ordered Daniel to be taken out of the den. Daniel didn't have a scratch on him because he trusted God. Afterwards, King Darius made a new law. He said, Everyone in my kingdom must respect and honor the God of Daniel. He is the living God and his kingdom will last forever. He rescues and saves his people and he saved Daniel from the lions. Daniel trusted God even when he was thrown into the den of hungry lions. He didn't stop praying or believing in God, and God protected him. Daniel's story shows us that God is always with us, no matter how scary or difficult things might get. Anytime we feel scared or worried about anything, we can trust God and pray about it. Now, let's think about some situations you might face. At school, maybe you are nervous about a big test or a new class. Remember, 
you can pray and trust God to help you do your best. With friends, if a friend wants you to do something you know is wrong, you can be brave like Daniel and say no, trusting that God will give you the strength to do what is right. At home, if you are afraid of the dark or worried about something, you can pray and trust God to give you peace and comfort. When we trust Jesus, we are like sheep who trust their shepherd. Jesus is our good shepherd. We must choose to listen to his voice and know that he will always be there to protect us, help us, guide us, no matter what we face. God will always take care of you, just like he took care of Daniel. Hello friends. Most importantly, you can show your trust in God by accepting his son, Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior. God sent his son, Jesus, to show us how much he loves us and to save us from our sins. If you've never given your life to Christ, what are you waiting for? Ask Jesus to be your savior. Ask him to be the Lord of your life by saying this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me enough to die for my sins. I believe that you are the Son of God, who died for my sins and rose again to lead me into eternal life. I accept you into my heart as my Lord and Savior. I am born again and I am a child of God. Amen. Congratulations! Trusting in God means believing that God loves you, wants the best for you, and will always be there to help you, even when things go tough or scary. Daniel's story shows us that God is always with us, no matter how scary or difficult things might get. Anytime we feel scared or worried about something, we can trust God and pray about it. Jesus is our good shepherd. We must choose to listen to his voice and to know that it will always be there to help us, protect us, and guide us, no matter what we face. So this week, I have a challenge for you. Are you ready to hear my challenge? Of course! So here's my challenge for the week. Number one, be brave. Think of a situation where you can be brave like Daniel. Maybe it is standing up for a friend, telling the truth, or trying something new, even if it's scary. Number two, help someone. Just like Jesus, our good shepherd, takes care of us. Find a way to help someone this week. It could be helping a classmate, doing a chore at home without being asked, or sharing with a friend. So would you be trying it this week? Yes, 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 yes. I look forward to seeing you do these two things with me this week. Let us pray. Hands together, eyes closed and heads bow. Dear God, Please help us to trust you like Daniel trusted you, even when things are tough or scary. Give us the courage to do what is right and to know that you will always take care of us. Thank you for your amazing love and protection. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Some people have written to us to say that these teachings blessed them and they would like to give an offering to God. The different ways by which you can give are now displayed. God bless you. ready for our pop quiz for today are you ready ready set and let's go 
Why did the jealous men want to get Daniel in trouble? A. They thought he was a bad person. B. They were jealous of his good works. C. They wanted to be friends with him. D. They didn't know who he was. The answer is B. The jealous men wanted to get Daniel in trouble because they were jealous of his good works. What did Daniel do every day that showed he trusted God? A. He played games. B. He watched TV. C. He went fishing. D. He prayed to God. The answer is D. He prayed to God every day and that showed he trusted God. What was the new law that the jealous men tricked the king into making? A. No one could eat vegetables. B. No one could go to school. C. No one could pray to anyone except the king. D. No one could ride bicycles. The answer is C. The new lord that the jealous men tricked the king into making was that no one could pray to anyone except the king. Daniel stopped praying to God because he was afraid of the new law. True or false? The answer is false. Daniel did not stop praying. What happened to Daniel when he continued to pray to God? A. He was given a reward. B. He was ignored. C. He was thrown into a den of lions. D. He was sent on a vacation. The answer is C. He was thrown into a den of lions. The lions hurt Daniel while he was in the den. True or false? The answer is false. The lions did not hurt Daniel while he was in the den. How did God protect Daniel in the lion's den? A. He sent an angel to shut the mouth of the lions. B. He made Daniel invisible. C. He gave Daniel a sword to fight the lions. D. He turned the lions into sheep. The answer is A. He sent an angel to shut the mouth of the lions. What should we do when we are scared or worried? A. Run away. B. Trust in God and pray. C. Ignore our feelings. D. Hide under the bed. The answer is B. We should trust in God and pray when we are scared or worried. Who is our good shepherd who takes care of us? A. Daniel B. The king C. Jesus D. The jealous man The answer is C. Jesus is our good shepherd who takes care of us. Trusting God means you believe that God loves you. 
wants the best for you and will always take care of you even when things go tough or scary. True or false? The answer is true. Trusting God means you believe that God loves you, wants the best for you, and will always take care of you even when things get tough or scary. Always remember that you can watch these teachings over and over again. Till I see you soon. Remember that God loves you, wants the best for you, and will always be there to help you even when things get tough or scary. I love you and God loves you more. Bye.